Hey, what's up? It's Brian and from Chris. Team Aquascape. <laughs> <laughs> It's Brian and Chris from Team Aquascape. We are in Woodford Gardens, known for... The Woodford Folk Festival. The Woodford Folk Festival, and this place is amazing. Currently, right behind us, I don't know if you can hear the murmurs, but there's a big group of people mm -hmm. congregating for what? Uh, the Aquascape Supply, which is based out of Australia. They're hosting an event for Aquascape to kind of do a hard launch here and really expose contractors and newer CACs to what Aquascape is all about. Patrick's been in this market now for a long time, and finally, his efforts are really taken off. There's a group of about 100, 150 people gathering behind us over here. And I'm just hoping that we can inspire them no different than we were inspired when we first started. So through pictures and Greg doing a presentation and Ed doing a presentation, the two of us are doing a presentation. We brought other artists of the year with us. We got Chris Suing, John Adams, Joey Genovese, Alan Decker, Jack Harju. And Patrick. And Patrick, right? Yeah. And Patrick. Mm -hmm. Let's show you guys what's going on and, and hopefully you guys can get inspired too. The potential for what you can do and build and rectify as well when it comes to water quality is totally possible and it's simple. It's ecology in motion. Australia has great potential for it. We have water issues. Let's start treating water with respect and uh, this is where we start with it. So if you want to understand what happened in February of 2020 with the Artists of the Year trip down to Australia, you actually have to go back to January of 2019 for my very first trip down under. Brian Helfrich and I went to actually look at the work and the quality of the work of Patrick Handley. And when Brian and I went down there, we were literally blown away seeing his stuff in person, which was even better than what we had seen in pictures on Instagram and Facebook. After Patrick was officially awarded the Artists of the Year in 2019 at Pondemonium in front of all of his peers, I said, this would be a fantastic trip for all of us to go down there and see Patrick's work together. And then of course, Patrick did what Patrick always does, which is to actually blow it up and make it a bigger event. And he decided to invite all of the contractors that actually were part of the Lake Gulag build back to actually swim in it and hang out with us. And we actually put down an all day seminar on for all the people that wanted to learn about water features while we were down there. Because of the nature of the Australian fires and the fact that there was a zoo that actually supported local wildlife, we thought this would be a perfect combination. And so we picked Wildlife HQ as our winner of our worldwide pond kit giveaway. And we built it together with all of our certified aquascapes counters from Australia, all of the artists of the year that came together to create this thing and really just enjoying building some water features for a deserving place and some really cool animals. Hi, I'm the pond guy, Greg. Thank you, Greg, for coming in. Yes, this is Ed the Pond Professor. Hi, the Pond Professor. Yeah, you got it. So are you <laughs> the founder of this place, Julie? And it was all because the place that you worked at was closing down, right? And a lot of the animals were going to be... Yeah, I decided I couldn't do that. I'd read half of them, so I had to something. Very impressive. So we, uh, we're we happy that you applied for the donation because you're doing a lot of good work out here. It wasn't just me. Got a great team behind me. That's the winner, Julie, that started Wildlife HQ because of her love for animals. We had thousands of entries for our giveaway and we picked Australia because of her story and what she's created here. And it is spectacular. I mean, look at this, this place, This is Ed. unreal. We're here at the Wildlife HQ in Queensland, Australia. It's a pretty awesome place. Now we've done a lot of projects for different zoos. What's unique about this one is how it all came together. There was a zoo being closed down and they literally had a six month period to move over a hundred different animals and transform a naked piece of land into an area that could hold all these different animals. We've got CACs from literally all over the world. We've got the past artists of the year from uh, back home. We've got Patrick Hanley, last year's artist of the year. And then we have local CACs, Australian CACs out here. So there's an enormous amount of talent here. Some new people, but everybody's got the same common goal and it's to get this thing done in a day. What's awesome about this is they're bringing in uh, some gibbons and it's for an endangered species of gibbons. And they've built this kind of jungle gym atmosphere and the hope is that these two uh, find love and have some babies and then we're building them I don't know called a wedding present <laughs>
do this. We were gonna be on an Artist of the Year tour. Patrick's like, well, why don't we build a pond when everybody's here and invite the local cottagers? And we're like, great. And then we thought, why don't we give away a pond? And of course, you guys submitted the application. Yeah. You guys won it. And here's the coolest thing. He didn't tell his partner, Julie, that they won until you showed up to do the print work. Uh. It was like a surprise <laughs> for her. That was a good idea. That, that was, was really cool. Yeah. This is fun. How could I not say I love my job when I get to do stuff like this? Everything's coming together. We got this pond rocked in. We're waiting on a few little minor details, but we're gonna try to do that by hand. The reason we're doing that, the rest of the team is up in that stream area. We wanna start setting big rocks. So we wanna pull the excavator out, move him up to the top. We can finish the hand work so we can keep progress going. We got the pond guy getting us water. Things are looking good. This is my job. I love my job. Is everything he does premature? <laughs> More mud. <laughs> this is called the Sunshine Coast and it's been raining most of the day. But I guess it is a rainforest and it depends on the time of the year. But that's what makes it all interesting. And on top of that, we're recreating a rainforest here because the gibbons that are coming in here are from Southeast Asia and they are actually comfortable in a rainforest environment. So we might as well get muddy with them, wrap this thing up. We're doing all that little detail work, finishing up the edges, foaming the waterfall. We'll have it running soon. The pouring rain didn't slow down this tribe of volunteers. They've come from all over North America and Australia to build an aquascape ecosystem pond here at Wildlife HQ. We picked this project from a worldwide contest for someone that was going to win an aquascape ecosystem pond. The American company chose Wildlife HQ following the devastating fires in Australia, recognising the zoo's contribution to animal conservation. Thank you for coming out and donating your time, spending the time to do this. You should be proud of this. There's gonna be thousands of people that see this. This is the signature water feature and something tells me that we're gonna be back here building a few more water features at this place. Thanks everybody. It definitely went well. The nice thing was people kind of split up, you know, so it wasn't like everybody just followed everybody around. It was like, all right, divide and conquer. Hit the intake area, get the edges done. Someone go look for logs, yeah. work on the waterfalls. Everybody kind of just split up and did their thing. And it was, yeah. I'll have to give the Australian CACs and the new guys that yeah. came here a round of applause because I've never seen an entire group work. Actually work. Right? There's usually, usually half yeah, or you more. Five, six guys that are working and everybody else is watching. Everybody was working <laughs> through the rain and everything. Everything. And then look what we built. Spectacular, huh? once again. Tell us what you guys enjoyed about it. Uh, if you like this, hit like, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff, <laughs> and uh, we'll keep doing this for you. All right, see you later. See you on the next one. <laughs>